Hey friends, how are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing so, so well and welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be doing a, another brands list video, which is super helpful if you are a part-time, a full-time reseller, even if you're just looking for high quality items for yourself or your family, knowing what brands are really, really nice and will resell for good money is super helpful. It helps us as resellers pick up better things that will sell for more money. And it also helps you to pick up more quality items for yourself and your family. So today we're gonna be covering men's brands, which has been very highly requested by you guys. So I'm gonna give you guys 60 brands today that should sell really well for you in the menswear category. So we're gonna be looking at some shoes, some outerwear, some just normal brands along the way. And a lot of these are going to resell for over 50 dollars sometimes over a hundred so it's a really good video today i did quite a bit of research there's a lot that has gone into this process so if you guys wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up i would absolutely appreciate that so much here we go we're going to jump into the 60 best men's brands to resell online and as always i will be putting up pictures of their tags on the screen for you guys. So that way you guys can see what it actually looks like. Cause hearing the name is so different than seeing what the tag of an item looks like. So let's do this. Let's jump into it. Okie doke. Here we go. Brand number one is called Ibex. So I've not actually found this brand, but I have seen other people find it. And a lot of the things that we're selling, we're selling for good money. So the average selling price I thought was right around $50 for just kind of most normal pieces. We're talking shirts and bottoms kind of things, but jackets and coats were selling for like 80 to hundred dollars. So it has a very unique logo. It kind of looks like a deer or an elk or something with an antelope perhaps. Um, but the Ibex tag will look like what I put here on the screen. Um, but yeah, it kind of like a deer logo, very interesting. And then brand number two, we're gonna move fast because there's a lot of brands. Brand number two is Todd Snyder. Great brand to know. Honestly, basically anything from this brand was so worth picking up to resell. Basically everything, which is not all brands. So most things are selling for around $75 or more. So I said that things that I would pick up would be pants and jackets, coats, shoes, and then literally anything. Also, Todd Snyder has a lot of collaboration pieces. So they've collabed with Champion, New Balance, L.L. Bean, and many more. So any collabs, collabs generally do well, just, you know, in general, but Todd Snyder collabs did really great, even better than those other brands normally do. So Todd Snyder, great brand to know. And a lot of these pieces in across all of the different brands that we're gonna talk about, if you find outerwear pieces or things that are more hefty, they're usually gonna sell for more. So I don't wanna repeat myself over and over. A coat or a jacket from pretty much every brand on this list is going to sell for close to probably 75, 100 bucks. So that's just a great category in general. But for this one in particular, even like jackets, pants, shirts, like some of those were selling for $75, which is crazy. Number three is a brand that most people know if they're in the reselling game, but that's Patagonia. It's a really great brand. A lot of people like it. The petite snap pullovers do really well for me. Jackets, coats, puffers, that sort of thing. The comps aren't what they used to be. Like things used to sell for more, but I feel like maybe because more people are reselling it, maybe it's getting a little bit more saturated in the market. But I would say $40 is pretty much what you're expecting to sell a lot of the things around. And then if it's more hefty, of course, it's gonna be more than that. Next up is the North Face, which I personally really love reselling. You're gonna be looking for puffers, jackets, and coats. Those are really the great pieces. Some other things are decent, like when you find those like little fleecy pieces, kind of like, um, you know, like a Columbia fleece, but it's the North Face. Those are not gonna resell for as much money. And a lot of times those will still get marked up at the thrift store. So I would suggest skipping those if they are marked up. Sometimes they will only sell for like 20, 30 bucks. But the North Face for a more substantial piece, $75 and up, which is great. And then this next brand is a very interesting one. I found this for the first time and only time at the bins the other day. So I paid about a dollar for a pair of public rec pants and they're still in my closet, but public rec is a really nice high quality brand. They make a lot of things that are similar to Lululemon, like kind of more like athletic kind of lounge ish type of pants, sweatshirts, tops, things like that. Pants and shorts are really what's sought after I would say for men. So those were selling for around $40, sometimes a little bit more. So that's a great brand to know, but also it can sit for a while. So it depends on what you want to do with your business. I'm okay with things sitting if they sell eventually, but not every 
is. Next up is a brand, it's a household name, it's Nike. Nike does sell pretty well. Again, more substantial pieces. A t-shirt's not gonna sell for as much as a vintage 90s puffer jacket, you know? Like, it's kind of common sense. But things that sell well for Nike are sneakers. Not necessarily every type of sneaker, but we're talking like the heftier ones, the ones that are more expensive up front. Not necessarily just like, you know, your run of the mill everyday sneaker outerwear, anything that's unique. So I'm talking about, they had a collection called the Euphoria Collection recently. That collection is so cute and everything from it does really well. That and the Color Clash, like there's some very interesting Nike pieces out there. The more interesting, the better. And then also just, you know, pullovers and things will do well too. But for some of these more unique pieces, I'm saying $50 or more for those. So the more unique, the better for Nike. Then brand number seven is Alex Crane. So of course you're gonna see the brand here. This one is a little bit more obscure, I would say. So pants and button downs and shorts from them are gonna do probably the best for you. I thought it was crazy though, cause shorts are normally not something I look through cause shorts just generally don't resell for a ton. But shorts from Alex Crane were reselling for 50 bucks, which is really great. And so for the other things like pants and button downs, they're kind of a little bit more business casual. Those things were selling for 65 and sometimes more. So Alex Crane, another good one to know. Brand eight is John Varvatos and John Varvatos, great brand. So things that sell well, jackets will sell for like a hundred bucks and then jeans, shirts, sweatshirts, sweaters, and scarves. All of those were great. I saw a lot of things selling for right around a hundred dollars for John Varvatos. And they, um, I saw, I found a pair of shoes the other day. I think it was their bootleg by John Varvatos collection. And those sold well for me and they were a pretty quick flip. So, I mean, I think that that's a great brand too. Brand number nine is Burberry. And y'all don't knock Burberry, that is so good. I've sold so much Burberry that I have thrifted. You can find it, I know you can. The things that do the best. So some things are not created equally. They're plaid pieces. The typical Burberry plaid is going to be the most sought after. It's just basically a staple of the Burberry brand. If they have the enlarged plaid, that's a great thing to look for. Their long sleeves, their sweaters, jackets, coats, their vintage pieces, and even their baseball hats. A baseball hat was selling for like $75. Isn't that crazy? So Burberry, pretty much anything I would look up, but the things that you're gonna be really hoping to find are those big, very substantial, unique pieces, plaid pieces, and they'll sell for over $100. Next up is Billy Reed, another great brand, and this, I would say, jackets. Wool coats from Billy Reed were recently for like $300. It was crazy. Vests, sweaters, shoes, those were all selling right around 80 bucks. So Billy Reed, really good brand. I think I've only found like t-shirts at this point, but those still will make you some good money. This, just not as much as some of these other categories that will do better. Number 11 is Mizzen and Main, which is a very fun name. I would say that the biggest thing for them is dress shirts. They were selling for around 50 bucks for like a button up. And then vests, blazers, and pants were also great. So Mizzen and Main, I think that's probably new to some people. It's a very interesting label too. So I kind of like it. It kind of reminds me of Comic Sans for the font. <laughs> but yeah, Taylor Stitch is number 12. This one is another really good brand. Basically, if you find anything from Taylor Stitch, they were selling for like $65, $75, which is amazing. So I said flannels and plaids, and then sweaters, boots, pants, jackets, literally, like anything you can find from Taylor Stitch should probably make you at least 50 bucks. I was thinking more like 65, 75 and up. <laughs> so again, definitely depends on if you find a more substantial piece. Number 13 is Adidas. And I was gonna say, Adidas, I would not pick up everything. This is what I wanna caution you about. These are, Specific pieces from these brands will sell for good money. So Adidas, we're talking about the human race for the shoes. Yeezys, I know that those are faked a lot. And then a lot of collab pieces from Adidas can do really well. I recently found at a garage sale an Adidas and Star Wars collab piece. And it's just a t-shirt, but it probably will sell for like 40, 50 bucks. So I would just keep your eye out for more unique pieces from that. Same thing kind of with Under Armour, except I have Under Armour on here because there is a specific category of Under Armour items that do really well. And I would say that's in the hunting realm, things that are camouflage. And then they have what's called the Ridge Reaper line. And then just anything for hunting that is Under Armour, 
will sell for like a lot of money. So 50 bucks and up, sometimes like a hundred dollars. If there's Gore-Tex in some of those hunting pieces, hunters are always on the lookout for that kind of stuff. And Under Armour is a pretty trusted name with them. Number 15 is Sims. Now, not everything from Sims sells well. Some things sell for like 10 bucks. Like hold your horses, don't pick up everything just because I said the word Sims. Their jackets, coats, and fishing gear, like the waders, things that you use for fishing, those are the only things I would pick up from this brand. Jackets, coats, and the fishing kind of, or hunting, I guess, kind of stuff in that little area. Those things will sell for like $100. Most everything else will sell for 10. So there's kind of a big gap in this brand, but Sims is just one at least to, hopefully you'll now recognize the label and then if you find it, you can look it up and see if that piece is worth reselling. And then 16 is Timberland. This is a brand I also wanna caution you with. Not everything will do well and a lot of people know this brand and mark it up. Timberland, I would say leather boots are probably one of the only thing to go for. Leather boots and also just like jackets, things like that from Timberland maybe around 50 bucks for a leather boot, but some boots are oversaturated from Timberland. So take Timberland with a grain of salt. 17, Lululemon. We love a Lulu moment. I'm always wearing Lulu. I think both of these are Lulu. I just love it. But guys love Lululemon too. I think things from Lululemon will mostly sell right around $50 and up. Outerwear from Lululemon can go for hundreds of dollars. It's a crazy brand and most people know it, but also, some people miss it. You have to, make, guys, go into a Lululemon and feel things. Even if you don't wanna buy anything there, just feel it because I have found so much Lululemon in the bins at thrift stores that are missing their pull tags, but I know it's Lululemon because I know what it feels like. And then you can find a little tag on the back of the bottom of a shirt that's a men's piece and it just will sell for so much money and people miss it because they don't know what it feels like. So go in, you know, get your fingers on some Lululemon so you know what it feels like. Brand number 18, Jeremy helped me find this one. This brand is called Asket, A-S-K-E-T. Asket, Asket, I don't know. But pants, sweatshirts, tees and jackets do really well from this brand. It's a really interesting logo and a really interesting tag. So that's really helpful when it comes to trying to remember all of these brands, because this is a lot, I know it is, but you guys are in the right place to be doing some research. From Asket, even t-shirts were selling for $40, which again, t-shirts don't normally sell for that much, especially plain ones like these, but for 40 bucks, that's a heck yes from me. Now, <laughs> number 19 is New Balance. And y'all, I have a love-hate relationship with New Balance because I feel like all these people are out here finding these new balances all the time and are like, yeah, these are so cool. And I find like the dumbest looking ones and they don't sell for anything. The ones that sell well, listen up, I did some research. Things that I would say usually do well, collabs, their collabs are worth so much money. And then the 990s, 992s and 550s are all uh, pretty desirable. New Balance always has that number on them and that is, I don't even know, the make number, I don't know, the model number, something like that. But the numbers are important. So if you are on the fence about a New Balance piece, if you should pick it up or not, almost always you will see the number on the New Balance and that's what you should be looking at, as well as the colorway. The colorways are important. So a lot of the more interesting colorways or ones that look fun, I would look up. If it is a very dirty pair of just like plain white dad shoes, maybe it's not gonna be worth as much. But it's a, really, um, it's a really interesting thing to look into how much some of these New Balance pieces can sell for. New Balance shoes can sell for 100 bucks. Isn't that crazy? But it has to be the right pair and it has to be the right number and it has to be the right colorway. So maybe do some more, in, maybe do some more research because I could talk about this for a long time, but I have 60 brands, but there are specific ones from New Balance that will do well. So the 900s, I would look up 550 and then there's some in the 1200s and 1500s that were also really expensive. But if you are a New Balance expert, help us in the comments. <laughs> Number 20, Ralph Lauren. I love selling Ralph Lauren and so many people sleep on it. I don't understand it at all. I saw so many pieces selling for over $100 from Ralph Lauren. So we've got leather jackets from Ralph Lauren. Amazing, definitely hundreds of dollars. Vintage knit sweaters, hundreds of dollars. The polo bear line where it has the polar bear or like the teddy bear kind of look to it and it's usually dressed up in different ways. Those can go for a ton of money. Western pieces and Southwestern pieces, anything with wool in it, those things that make most brands more expensive, making my Ralph Lauren like ridiculously expensive. All of those are great to resell, probably give you over a hundred dollars. 
Number 21 is Jordans. So um, a lot of people know that Jordans are worth money. Dear Lord, I really had a hard time understanding which Jordans are worth money and which ones aren't. Your best friend on this is going to be your Google image search. <laughs> Definitely do a, uh, you know, a Google image search, take a picture, use the Google app and try to find it that way. Cause there's just so much knowledge out there. Maybe I need to watch some more shoe <laughs> videos, but the colors are important for these retro ones or ones that are remaking originals do really well for Jordans. So there's a lot to know in that category. And again, I don't have time to go into all of it because this is gonna be a long video if I do. Number 22 is called Icebreaker. So this one's a little bit less expensive than some of the other ones we've been looking at, but some of their tops were reselling for 30 bucks and then jackets were reselling for around 50. So I thought it'd be worth at least including, this might be something easier to find and maybe it won't be as expensive in the thrift store, let's hope. Then 23 is Noble. So the Noble Project. And this is a really cool sneaker brand. I think, what do they work with, CrossFit? something like that, but they have a very unique bottom to the shoe. They have a very unique construction and I don't think they can tear. Is that the, the thing that makes them really cool? They're very expensive up front and they resell for like 50 to $65. And often they don't get marked up because they kind of are inconspicuous. They're a great workout shoe though. I think they're meant to be used indoors. They're really cool. And I just found my first pair the other day. So I'm very happy with those, but 50 to $65, nothing to sneeze at there. Number 24 is L.L. Bean. The things you're looking for from L.L. Bean are leather jackets, coats, collab with Todd Snyder. So I mentioned that Todd Snyder does collabs. Their collab between L.L. Bean and Todd Snyder goes for a lot of money. And then their bean boots, anything with Gore-Tex, and then anything weird from L.L. Bean, all of those would do really well. Even like slippers from L.L. Bean can do great. I would definitely look up the piece that you find, but if it was just like an LL Bean t-shirt, that's not gonna that's not gonna cut it probably for you. Number 25, Woolrich, very similar to LL Bean in that you're looking for some similar items and then if you're finding a t-shirt from Woolrich, it's probably not gonna be worth reselling, but they're vintage pieces. If they're unique, if they are Southwestern, their jackets, their puffers, anything with an interesting knit, you're gonna look at $50 and up, which is, I mean, probably what I would be aiming for. I like to find things around $50. I think that's a great price to resell items for. Um, and then also, if you can get more than that, that's great. <laughs> Next up, we have Built, B-Y-L-T. Their basics are not exactly what you're looking for. Those will resell maybe 15 to $20. So if you can find them at a garage sale, in the bins for a buck or two, that might be worth it for you. But the pieces that will sell better are their pullovers, their pants, and their bomber jackets, especially their bomber jackets. Those were really cool and were selling for good money, but you're looking at about 50 bucks for a pullover, a pant, things like that. And then another brand that you need to know. If you don't know number 27, Montclair, then um, I'm glad you're watching because Montclair, guys, if you find this, let me know. I want to find it so bad. Montclair, great brand to know. It is crazy. Puffers, hats, outerwear, boots, sneakers, polo shirts, anything from this brand will resell for so much money. We're looking at hundreds of dollars, like over a hundred dollars easy. Even a hat, I think hats were selling for like around a hundred dollars, $75. Absolutely shocking. Montclair is a great brand. I am wanting to head out to an outerwear section of a thrift store right now and just like go through every coat because someday I'll find something good like that. Number 28 is Canada Goose. Canada Goose is a great outerwear brand as well. Montclair and Canada Goose are kind of like the top tier for me of some of these brands. Canada Goose, you're looking for coats, jackets. They also have these really cool men's aviator hats, really nice. And those all were reselling for like $100 for a hat too, $200 for a hat, crazy amounts. Any of those things, coats, jackets, aviator hats, things like that, outerwear pieces are gonna be hundreds of dollars probably. So especially if it's in good condition, that can go for a lot of money. So definitely wanna know Canada Goose, definitely wanna know Montclair. <laughs> Number 29 is Faherty. I'm so bad at pronouncing some of these, but F-A-H-E-R-T-Y, Faherty, Faherty. This brand, you're looking at jackets, pullovers, flannels, which can do really well, and also things that are Southwestern. I saw such a common thread for most of these brands. If you find something that's like a Southwestern kind of style, those were selling for so much money. Apparently, it must be expensive to make that because all of those were doing really well. So, Faherty, 50 ish dollars for any of those pieces. Great brand to know. 
Number 30 is Doc Martens. So Doc Martens can do really well. They, um, pretty much anything <laughs> that you find from Doc Martens can do great. But the ones that are made in England are really sought after. Things that are vintage, chunky, if they're a Chelsea style boot or anything just more recent, anything in good condition, you're gonna look at like $75, sometimes more. It just depends on what you find. Brand 31 is Jenko. Jenko is a great brand to know. I'm calling it Jenko Jeans. These can sell for so much money. I have found this brand twice, both times in the bins, two separate bins. They are really unique, kind of like grungy 90s, kind of think of that kind of style. Things you're looking for are cargo pants, you're looking for um, unique things, wide leg pants, basically anything from this brand will do well. I have sold a pair of shorts before for $100. The more embroidery on them, the better. If they, a lot of things in this brand have embroidery on them and the more unique the embroidery, the better. But these things you're looking at probably selling for $100 and up. It just depends on what you find. Now we're switching sides because the lighting is getting crazy in here. But brand 32 is Paper Planes and you're looking at sweatshirts, sweatpants, and snapbacks from this brand. They do a lot of more like loungewear items, but $75-ish if you find something from Paper Planes. 33 is Dixon, Dixon with two X's. I've talked about this brand in my fall brands list. Great brand to know for flannels. Their flannels can do so good. And that's what I have here, just, just that. Look for flannels from Dixon. About $75 for a Dixon flannel. And they have a couple different tags, but I'll put up one here for you. Just remember, Dixon with two X's. This X marks the spot or something, I don't know. Make up a mnemonic device, who knows. Number 34, Vince. Y'all, people are sleeping on Vince and I don't know why. Especially menswear pieces, they sell for so much money. If you go into the solds on Vince at any given time, you're looking at hundreds of dollars sold. So Vince, what sells? Sweaters, nice fabrics, like we're thinking cashmere, we're thinking wool. Um, sweatshirts, shoes, outerwear. I saw so many things that were selling for right around $75. And so many people see Vince and leave it behind because they think it doesn't sell anymore. Um, and I'm happy about that sometimes because I pick it up. I will sell Vince all day long, I love it. Number 35 is Filson, a really cool brand. Their vests, their jackets, um, their coats, and their bags will sell really well. Basically anything from this brand as well will do well. And all of those will sell for right around 100 bucks. Sometimes more. If you find a more substantial piece or a really cool piece, it can do really well. Their bags sell for good money. Number 36, Ugg. Ugg boots are not just for women, but most of the things that will sell well for men from Ugg are slippers. Men love an Ugg slipper, but also their leather boots and not suede. I'm talking like actual leather, not, um, not the soft kind of leather. You know what I mean? So those would do well about 75, honestly, in the Ugg category. 37 is Aaron Crafts. A-R-A-N, I believe this is a, what, a location in Ireland. These Irish chunky sweaters, even if it's not this brand, they just do well. They're selling for about 50 bucks. From this brand in particular, wool sweaters, chunky, anything unique would be good too, but even just a plain white chunky sweater from Aaron Crafts Market will do about 50, $75, so not bad. Number 38's brand is Relwin, which is a really cool brand. Their jackets, pullovers, flannels, coats, literally, if you find anything from this brand, I would definitely at least look it up. Relwin can resell really well. All of those pieces I just mentioned, like I saw a lot of things selling for right around $65 and above. So great brand to know. Relwin, even t-shirts were selling for good money. So definitely take note of Relwin. 39 is Brooks Brothers. We're looking at suit jackets, cashmere, wool, sweaters, and leather shoes. Brooks Brothers is another one that people sleep on sometimes. Even a polo shirt can do okay, but mostly I'm looking at those more substantial pieces to get $80 and above, and that's kind of a really nice number to aim for for Brooks Brothers. Next up, we're looking at Arcteryx. Arcteryx is a great brand again for that outerwear stuff. Jackets, coats, pullovers, vests, long sleeves. Most anything from Arcteryx will sell for pretty good money. Even polos can go for like 40, 50 bucks, but you're looking at 65 plus for a lot of these other things like that are pullovers, things like that. Great brand to know. And then I have here, these are separated out into multiple things, but we're gonna talk about just sports in general. I know that most of my audience is women, and so I'm trying to help us 
learn these men's brands. But also, guys, a lot of men, they just like sports and they will pay good money for really cool sports pieces. So whether it's a collab piece or a vintage piece that's really unique, something that's embroidered on the front. There's a lot of things that make sport pieces really cool and unique to a, a male buyer. So I've got the NFL, the NBA, colleges, football and basketball, in particular MLB, the NHL, soccer pieces, all of those will do really well. I have sold so many sports things for 65, 80, $100. Jackets that are Reebok, vintage, starter jackets. There's so much to know in the sports category. Mostly if you think a logo looks cool, if you think uh, the pattern of how the, the jacket is cut looks cool, it probably is worth good money. There's so much to be said about just sport pieces in general. Again, more substantial the better usually, and sometimes you know jerseys can do really well too. But again, we would be here all day if I talked about jerseys. So 47 is the brand Cool, K-U-H-L, another good outerwear brand. They sell jackets, pants, coats, sweatshirts. Their plaids do well, about 50 bucks for Cool brand. Some of their like t-shirts and shorts are not gonna do as well, but that's the case pretty much across the board. Then we have number 48, Flint and Tinder, really cool brand. Their waxed trucker jacket will do over $100. That is one of their best items they have. It's a really cool jacket, but hoodies and flannels and shirts from them will all do like 50 plus bucks, not too shabby. Then Burton is a really nice kind of like snowboardy skiing type of brand. We've got snow pants, anything with Gore-Tex coats, snowboard boots, all of that will resell for $50 and up, $80 or more sometimes too for those like snowboard boots, things like that that are more specific for a purpose like snowboarding that people need can sell for a lot of money. Number 50, Allen Edmonds, leather shoes, Oxfords and boots. Allen Edmonds, I believe they sell more than just shoes, probably, I assume, but their shoes do really well and it just depends. If you find a small size, it's gonna be harder to sell it. So if you're in the more common men's shoe sizes, I'm thinking like a size nine to 13 at the high, nine to 12. I feel like it's mostly like the most common sizes, maybe 10 to 12. Those can do really well and those will move faster just across the board for men's shoes. If you find selling on the smaller side, it can sit for a while, but a lot of the Allen Edmonds shoes will sell for around $75, which is not too shabby. And this is an interesting brand. We have Mac Weldon. So vests and jackets, basics from them do well. Mac Weldon is really known for their underwear, which is really interesting. And their underwear freaking sells, man. Like I saw so many like bundles of used underwear selling for like 50, $65 of like five pairs of underwear. So must be high quality to get that many men using that much um, used underwear. But $50 and up for this brand, nothing to sneeze at for sure. Um, and yeah, if you wanna use used underwear, you go, you go Glen Coco. Number 52, Smart Wool, love this brand. I've only found it a few times. You know what was super interesting to me though? The only times I found this brand have been socks. And when I was looking through here, their socks comps were crazy. I saw a pair, I saw like a set of five use smart wool socks. Um, and they were selling for, they sold for like $65. And here I am using these smart wool socks that I found in the bins on my own feet when I could be making money from them. Crazy. Smart wool, jackets, pullovers, socks, vests, etc. Anything new with tags from Smartwool, really sought after. $50 and up for Smartwool. Even if you find some socks in the bins, man, lot those things up and sell those for 50 bucks. You can do it. 53, hey dudes. This has been a little confusing to me because I have only found these things trashed, but if they are in good shape, their comfy shoes do well around $50. Almost all of the solds I found for them were new with tags. So they're, this must be a huge boutique thing. But if you can find some new tags, hey dudes, they will sell for around 50 bucks. If you find them used, some of those were selling for 50 bucks too. So it's very interesting, this brand. I wanna experiment more with it, but hey dudes, put that on your radar. 54 is Buck Mason. Their chore coat will sell for around $100, but then jackets, sweaters, pants from them, selling around $75. So really good brand to know. And that the name of that brand just sounds pretty cool. Like I feel like Buck Mason, is a sweet name. Good job marketing department on naming. Um, number 55, Hoka's. Hoka One One. Hoka's do really well. I've seen so many people wearing Hoka's. Some do better than others. So what you're looking for really from Hoka is you wanna have good tread on the bottom, if you're, especially if you're buying these secondhand to flip online. But also the later numbers, the better. So like they've made a couple iterations of most of their styles. So we're talking about like the Bondi, 
or the Clifton. So there's like a Clifton four, a Clifton five, a Clifton six. You wanna get the higher numbers. I think we're around the eights or nines sometimes right now. So something that's really popular right now and really good for people that need to be on their feet all day is the Bondi eights, B-O-N-D-I eight. That particular style is so hard to find for less than $75. So that's a great brand in general, but there's some um, there's some styles from Hoka that will do better than others. And that's the case for every shoe, I feel like. Same thing with the next one. 56 is On Cloud Running. So On Running, great brand. Basically everything from this. They all have the cute little, little swirls at the bottom. So it's like you're running on a cloud. How adorable is that? About 65-ish for On Running shoes. 57, the brand is Roback. And it has the cutest little like dog logo, rowback, really interesting. Things from them that will do well. Polos, hoodies, pullovers. Literally anything from this brand will sell for like $50 or more. And there were so many polo shirts selling for over 50 bucks and around $50. Sometimes the more unique patterns will do better from this brand, but literally I'm not used to seeing t-shirts or polo shirts selling for 50 bucks. You kind of expect it more around 20. And so this is a great brand to know because if you find a rowback polo, it can sell for good money. 58 is the Thursday Boot Company. I found this brand one time and I have been looking for it since then. Same thing with RM Williams. I didn't put that on this brand list, but that's also a good one to know. Especially, there's also lots and lots of Western and cowboy boots I could have included as well. There's so much here, but we have to, you know, be concise at least to 60. So we've got Thursday Boot Company, any of their leather just in general, and their boots will do really well. I was saying right around $80 for a pair of these shoes, really good. Number 59, a recent find of mine, so it had to make it on the list, is Mr. Freedom. A really interesting brand. Their shirts, their jackets, their flannels, their jeans, anything interesting, pretty much almost everything from this brand can sell for like a hundred bucks, which is shocking. Even a plain like long sleeve t-shirt was selling for a hundred dollars, which is crazy, but they are very expensive up front. I found a little like Hawaiian shirt the other day and I listed it, I don't even know, $150 or something because it retailed for $350. This, this brand is crazy. The only thing I would avoid is the Gap collaboration. Usually collaborations are good, but their collab with Gap will not sell for as much as a Mr. Freedom original piece. So just keep that in mind. And then the last one on my list, number 60 is the brand Fry. Fry, F-R-Y-E. Lots of great things from them. There's a lot of shoes that I'm talking about from this brand. They also have jackets though, and those were selling really well, but their leather pieces, their Oxfords boots, and their jackets were all selling for $75 and sometimes more, but it also depends on condition. If the condition is not there, then it's not gonna sell for good money. And so you have to be aware of that too with these comps. And that's kind of the case across the board as well. I mean, if things are not in good condition, you're just not gonna get as much money. But those are 60 men's brands to resell online. Lots and lots of information here. I hope your brain is not overloaded. This did take a long time to work on and put together for you guys. So if you felt like I earned your subscription or earned your like on this video, I would so appreciate it if you would subscribe and hit the like button before you head out. If you guys have any suggestions of more brand lists you guys would like to see, if you want me to compile a winter brand list, or if you have any specific category you want me to do the research for you in, I would love to, I love doing these videos. So let me know that down in the comments. If you have any brands to add to this men's brand list, put those in the comments as well. We're here to help each other. There's enough to go around. There's enough knowledge to go around. There's enough excess to go around for sure. So let's help each other out in the comments. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. And until the next video, bye.